Hey balls, it's Horton here. It's winter-ish here in Southern California. So boats on the trailer, but the metal flake looks awesome, does it not? Hey, this is the uh, the 2022 uh, Vapor Boot. I've unboxed this, I've talked about this before, but now I have um, a lot of rides on it. I've skied on this quite a bit. And you know, I probably have, I can only think of one binding product on the market in the last couple of years that I haven't skied in. Um, so I've kind of skied in all of it, and there's some things about this um, that I really love. Um, I think this is probably one of the best boot products ever. So let's talk about why. So first of all, as with all the vapor boots, it is uh, insert the insert liner comes out right, which uh, this liner is maybe the gold standard in uh, boot liners. Um, it fits perfect in here. It's made for this boot. Um, I don't, you know, I love this liner. I've tried to stick it into other boots and it, you know, doesn't really work. But, so this thing's awesome. But it's been like this for a decade. So the boot itself, um, pretty interesting. So uh, in years past on the Vapor boots, probably one of the only real things that people complained about was durability back here that it fell apart. Well, a, you can unscrew this part and throw it away and put a new one on if you had a problem. But more importantly, this material has been changed and Radar believes it's going to last season after season after season. Besides that, the rest of the boot is hard plastic. You're going <laughs> to, this boot's going to last a heck of a lot longer than the rest of your ski gear. I don't know what's going to last this long. So um, it is, uh, as I talk about unscrewing this, it is in three pieces. So it's this very pliable upper cuff. It is this middle part, and we're gonna talk more about this in a minute. And then the third piece is the, the toe. Um, the thing about this middle piece, I would call this the sole or the, you know, it's the majority of the boot, is that it is not the same piece as the toe cup. So when you engage the boa, which is a cool piece of technology, and you tighten the sucker down, the stiffness of the toe piece is not inhibiting these outer pieces from wrapping around and um, squeezing your foot. Now, <laughs> I, <laughs> it's funny, when I put this thing on, it's so comfortable, and again, I ski a lot of binding, so in comparison, I always feel like, man, it should be, it should be tighter. It's, it's, it's too comfortable. Well, the reality is it's plenty firm. It gets plenty tight. It's just not crushing my foot. I'm, you're held really positively down onto the ski. Um, so, you know, the other thing about this is since this is a bestoke, bestoke, that's not the right word. Since this boot was built from scratch, as with all the radar boots, uh, for water skiing, um, the bottom is completely flush. So when it sits on the plate, sits on your ski, uh, there's no need to like bondo or you don't need any of the parts and it's, it's firm, it sits down, it's locked. So last but not least and most important to me is performance. This upper cuff is quite pliable, which means that, um, your 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 lean of your of your calf is not driving the ski as much as your foot is driving the ski. So that sounds like it's a bad thing, like you'd think you'd want like as much leverage as you can. But what you find if you look really carefully at a lot of the best skiers in the world is they're cutting down like their their plastic hard shells or people are going back and taking a long look at rubber again because you want some dampening in there. You want some freedom in there. So this being softer is actually, um, in theory, going to make the ski go faster through center line. Don't ask me to explain that, but I believe it's true. And it's going to like smooth out. It's going to dampen some of your movements. I know that like, especially with back bindings, a really stiff cuff, your edge changes, especially into uh, offside are whack. So you need that freedom. That's why most of us run either a really low rear or a kicker. So this boot, it's awesome. Again, three pieces is key. So this can work and this can be soft and you're snug. It's flat, it's durable. Um, 
this thing's great. I think, you know, they're just hitting store shelves now, or actually Brooks told me that uh, they're on a boat right now. They're coming from uh, wherever they're being manufactured overseas, uh, trying to get to places like Performance Ski and Surf. Uh, so uh, get an order in from one. I think this is going to be the hottest thing of 2022. So my dog's barking. I better go. Thank you, Ballers.